Let's solve a tricky air level physics question. We have a thermistor, but then also a coil around it. The coil will heat the thermistor up and change its resistance. It has been suggested that the power in the coil is related to the resistance in the thermistor via this relationship where K and N are constants. And we need to design an experiment to test the validity of this relationship and find the values of K and N. The first thing that I'm going to remember is that power is equal to voltage times current. Therefore, I'm going to need an ammeter and a voltmeter. So let's complete this circuit. Notice that I've added a variable power supply so that I could vary the potential difference with that power supply while I measure the current with an ammeter, the PD across the coil with a voltmeter, and the resistance of the thermistor with an ohmmeter. Because this equation involves power, I'm also going to be calculating the power using P is equal to V multiplied by I. Now here's a little mathematical trick. Anytime we're looking for some variables which are within a power, what we need to do is use logs. We can use any base that we like, but I'm going to choose to use the natural logarithm because I like the number E. So I'm going to take the ln of both sides, i.e. ln of p will be equal to ln of k multiplied by r raised to the power of n. And now I'm going to use the product rule for logs, i.e. ln of p will be equal to ln of k plus the ln of r raised to the power of n. And I'm going to use yet another rule for logs that if something is raised to the power of n, I can bring this power to multiply outside of the log. So what we get is ln of p is equal to ln of k plus n ln of r. And this is already starting to look linear. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot a graph of ln of p on the y-axis against ln of r on the x-axis. And let's put our equation into linear form. So what we're going to get is ln of p, that's on the y-axis, is equal to n ln of r plus the natural log of k y is equal to mx plus c, and if ln of p is on the y-axis, if ln of r is on the x-axis, then our gradient m will be equal to the constant n. Our intercept c will be equal to the natural log of k. In other words, our constant k will be equal to e raised to the power of c. Please know that if you've used log base 10, then the constant k will be equal to 10 raised to the power of c. And to ensure that you get maximum grades on this question, I would also add that as always, you would take multiple readings and then average. And to ensure that you get maximum grades on the whole exam, I would have a look at this video next for some extra six marker question practice right over here.